So you designed a website, now you need to make sure it's mobile responsive so it looks good on mobile, tablets, and so on. So in this episode, we're gonna cover what you need to take into account and exactly how to do this when you're designing your responsive websites. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to the free web design course. So today we're gonna to talk about all things responsive and we're gonna actually do this with an example step by step. So when you're actually thinking about how to make your design responsive, there's basically three things that you need to consider. The first one is changing the layout. Everything, uh, obviously not everything can fit. If you've created four columns of things, your screen on mobile is gonna be way tighter and so you're gonna have to restructure your layout the second thing is adjust the sizes obviously the screen is smaller so you need to make your text smaller and everything needs to be adjusted so that's the second thing you need to be adjusting and the third thing is you're gonna have to actually have to consider whether you want to keep all your content or somehow remove things that are not as important or condense them or hide them under some navigation because again, because the real estate of mobile devices is smaller, smaller, um, you need to really take into consideration what you're putting there. Uh, people have less attention and there's less time to look at all the details. So you really have to reconsider every single detail. All right, let's jump into it. For today's video, I'm gonna work with an example of a design that I took from Dribbble from Benjamin Leon Craft. He designed this fashion e-commerce website. So thank you, Benjamin, for doing that. I'll put the link below the video if we wanna to try to work alongside with me. So basically, this is the design. It's pretty nice looking, well-designed kind of e-commerce fashion shop. And we're gonna to try to make the mobile version of this page. So Usually, I would have to consider both the tablet view and maybe mobile when it's on landscape versus uh, vertical um, because they might be different. But let's just get started for today. I want to show you how I'm thinking about the mobile. This will help you later do all the things. Now, uh, be just before I get started, I want to turn on the grid here and see how, um, how this was built. So he was using basically, I think the, I think it's the default kind of 12 grid. And you can see that it's been divided into four columns here. Here he's using a little bit of a wider grid, but most of the website seems to fit within these 12 columns. And that's going to be helpful when we're going to adjust that. So first let's create a new, kind of a new artboard here. I'm gonna go with the iPhone XR. And I'm gonna turn in the layout here. So by default, um, XD already condensed this into four columns. And I actually think this is a good layout. Cause so using these four columns, I'm probably not gonna do, you know, four columns. Maybe I'll just try do, doing two columns here because otherwise this is gonna be too small. Maybe even two columns is too small, but we'll check it out. My gut feeling tells me that we can work with two columns here. So let's turn this down for a second. Let's bring down the background color just so that the websites look the same. Now, one more thing that I wanna say. If you've been following the previous episodes here on the free web design course, you know that I highly recommend you working with styles. So everything will be consistent and everything will be easier to adjust. Now, in this case, um, he did not work with style. So if I'm gonna open up here the you know, character styles, there is no styles here, which means that I'm actually going to have to resize everything manually, or I'll just cr start creating the styles right now. I don't know, maybe maybe we'll do that. But uh, th this could have been, this work would have been way, way easier if we had styles that we could duplicate, and then we can take all the headlines and make them smaller, for example, on mobile. So be sure to work consistently with mobile. Also, name your layers. This is a little bit messy, but then again, you don't check the, the, the teeth of the horse you got for free or something like this. So thank you uh, for this website. We're gonna work with this nevertheless. So the first thing that's, that we wanna adjust is the menu here. And let me just start with grabbing maybe even just the background of this and resize this to this. Now, Obviously, not all of this is going to fit. So we're gonna have to hide 
or condense all of this under a navigation, which is something very, very common on mobile. So what I will do is, you know, I'm going to take the logo and put it here. And I will use the grid kind of to make sure that I put it within the, I want to make sure that it's aligned here. Now, I'm going to put the hamburger, classic hamburger menu for the, for, you know, the menu here. And I'm wondering whether I should put that alongside with the cart. So, and I think I will do because again, this is an e-commerce website. And while you're browsing in e-commerce, let me try and find the group for just this. Yeah, I'm going to copy this because this is an e-commerce website. You always want to keep track of, you know, what's in your bag or you want a quick access to just get going and paying. So this is a very important um, kind of a button to have in an e-commerce website. So I'm going to make sure that this is visible, but all the rest of the website, all the rest of it is actually, we can hide it under um, in hamburger menu. So I'm just basically, I'm going to go here and create this very quickly um, a hamburger menu. And I'm going to try to make sure that it's somewhat you know, in the same size of this, and looks like it is. And make sure that it's black. I'm gonna group it, and I'm gonna name it because, you know, I gotta eat my own dog shit or whatever. So let's call this ham, ham burger menu. And then this, we're gonna call this cart. This, we're gonna call logo. And we're gonna take all of these and group them as nav bar nav bar i want to know what's on my thing here um okay so this looks pretty good maybe by the way maybe we can even condense this a little bit because again it's mobile maybe we don't need that much space at the top so now let's take this first you know this first section here uh, let's start by dragging this and i'm gonna i'm gonna do quote what he did here, which is, you know, the items are going to be aligned to the grid and the background is going to be a little bit outside of it. Um, and I think this is somewhat okay. I'm just going to make sure that it's, you know, centered. Um, and this looks good. You know what? Actually, I think it would make sense if the kind of the gutter on the left side is kind of equal to the gutter. Again, the spacing on the right side. So this looks it's not super accurate because I didn't measure but it looks it looks good all right so now let's think about the layout I think in terms of layout you can see that we have a primary item here and then two secondary items here so what I think I'll do I want to keep this hierarchy where we have one more important things than the two other they're not all equal like we have here so I'm gonna use this as a one column throughout the width and then these two we're gonna put them kind of like side by side so let's try and do this. So let's copy all of these elements. So this whole let's see it's not even grouped. God damn. All right. I'm going to try to group them together and then okay. So I'm copying this here. And let's see what would happen if we just take this group and to 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 make it smaller. Okay, so as you can see, the text is not getting smaller. Um, so we're gonna have to go ahead and do this manually. So this text, um, again, we don't have styles here. I would recommend working with styles, but for now, let's say this is, this can be maybe 25. Um, I think 25 is okay. And I'm gonna break this down into a paragraph that we can break into multiple lines because it's not going to be you know, even at 25, it's not going to be, we can't fit it all in one line. And then this one, the subtext, I think I can actually leave it in the same size. I don't have to make this smaller. Mm. And then what else do we have here that's making this go out of the da, 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 da. okay so I think we have this element now let's remove this so this looks like a good element how high it is I think it's okay I mean I'm just doing this right now you know by gut feeling but 
we might want to adjust that. So these are the two smaller ones. So by the way, at this point, let's go ahead and create some textiles and I'm going to call this, um, it's probably something like H2 mobile. And I'm going to give it a style so that I can reapply this when I take this thing. And this one, I, I said I want to make it two columns because I want to put it side by side. And what's the height of this? I don't know. Let's see. What's the height of all this element? Let's try to make it the same height for now and see if that works for us. Now I think I might discover that the text is even too big here. So I'm going to apply the smaller, the smaller style and I'm going to break it down. No, it's actually not that bad. I think I also need to adjust the line height for mobile. So I'm going to reduce it to 27. And I'm going to actually edit this to 27. Yeah. So here it's being adjusted just as well. Um, all right. So let's go back here. and see what we have. So basically at this point, I think just because we've made all this adjustment, it's gonna be easier and just making sure that the space on top is similar to the space of the gutter. It's gonna be easier if I just copy and paste this. Of course, it would be easy if everything was styled correctly here, but if, because it's not, um, it's probably gonna be easier to just, you know, do the summer collection here yeah, at the end of the day, I think this uh, this text size works even on mobile. And so the only thing we need here is the image. So let's go here and replace the image that we have here. Oh, maybe paste it aside. Yeah. All right. So maybe not super accurate, not pixel perfect, but I think in terms of layout, it works. Okay, so we finished up the first section. And, you know, we can continue doing this, but I think what is important, and I covered the main things that I wanted to show you what I'm doing as I'm responsing. I'm adjusting the layout, how things are structured. I'm resizing things and I'm hiding things that might be a little bit overwhelming or we don't have place to put them all when we're designing for mobile. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful and I will see you on the next video of the free web design class. See you soon.